Well, Ken, uh, that was a return to, to Port Adelaide that you've all come to admire a little bit more. Yeah, I was a, a, a little closer, Steve. I, I, look, we we know we've got still lots and lots of things to work on, but our last you know our last month's been pretty competitive and pretty honest. We just you know some of the stuff we we've done at times has hurt us badly, and uh, we we understand that. But we just keep working away and try and get another win, and we're really pleased. And I'm really pleased with the boys because they've stuck pretty tough in a pretty difficult time for the footy club, and they've you know they've never let let me down once. And tonight they tried hard. Seven and nine, you haven't given up hope yet? No, we won't give up hope and we, we won't give up, you know what, we, the week to week's what we won't give up on. You know, whether we get to the end of the year and we, 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 we're out of finals or we're in finals, that, that won't be the way we go about our game. We'll go about playing the right style of football for the Port people who expect us to play a certain way every week. And Paddy Ryder, uh, four touches to three-quarter time, had a pretty tough year. First year with Port Adelaide, stood tall when needed. What does that mean to him and to the club? I think his last couple of weeks have been significant. You know, he's that he's provided opportunities and goals and you know, created the last goal a little bit as well that Travis kicked, you know, so Paddy's influence is, uh, you know, just starting to grow. I said all along that Paddy's a long-term thing for us and we're going to get some enormous bonuses out of having him at our footy club. A big relief for him, though, personally tonight. He's got a couple of the booze out from the uh, Essendon faithful as well. Yeah, that's what happens. It's, it's what happens when you leave a football club. I'm sure he's got a lot of friends at Essendon still and a lot of people love him and uh, we certainly love him at Port. But I'm sure he would be really, really proud and his family would be really proud of his performance tonight. No, not really. No, not really. We didn't really want to give up our defensive pressure, and you know, on this track, it's it's much harder. We've played here twice now, I think, this year, and both games have been really intense, over 100 point games. I think nearly for both sides, Kangaroos and this game. So it's a hard ground to defend strongly on, and when you're not quite on top of your game, it's it's even even a little bit harder. I just wanted to uh, be a part of the team. You know, Paddy's been, he's like that, he's not, he's, not anything, he's not about anything for Paddy, he's about coming here and helping our football club and being part of our team and he just wants to be a part of the team. He knew that, you know, he publicly said I think that he'd be a little bit nervous, anyone would be playing against their old club and you know, I'm sure he'll go home tonight uh, with a smile on his face. Will yeah. James Schultz's role change now that Paddy Ryder's kicking a lot of goals? I hope not. I hope they both kick a lot of goals together. That's what I hope for. And that's the idea is that you get a combination of your forward line. And it doesn't mean one player kicks all the goals all the time. We hope to spread it across five or six players in our front half and then three or four of our midfielders. You need that mix of goal kickers. Every side knows that and you've got to work hard to get it. Ken, where's Joe Shields at with the club? He's obviously had a contract in this year. There's talk that Fremantle and Brisbane are circling. Are you confident you keep him? Yeah, look, I'm not going to talk about... Jay's contract and stuff. No one does, and it's not the right thing to do. I just know Jay's contributing and working damn hard week in, week out for us to try and achieve results, and he did again tonight, and I was really pleased with that. And the season that keeps your life, you lost tonight, it's been very, very difficult. It's still obviously tough, but what's the mindset yeah. of you and the players going into the last six rounds? Yeah, as I said, it's to perform the right way in every game that we play, and, and said, let's take our eye off what everyone else puts their eye on, and that's the bigger picture, and really focus in on next week's game, and that's what we'll continue to do. Yeah, he's had a pretty special year, Chad. He's been, uh, you know, him and him and one or two other the boys have been really strong all year. Chad probably, look, I'm not talking out of school. He's, he's one of the most dynamic, damaging small forwards in the game, and, and this year he's lived up to that. He's got an All-Australian pace. He made the Australian side two years ago. The stats say he's had a better year this year. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's a tough team to get into, I'd say, and we're not worried about the All-Australian stuff. Chad's form's been really consistent, that's all I know. That's a pretty exciting game of footy. Do you buy into the argument that uh, it's a bad look for the game at the moment? Oh, I think we've we've provided some good looks in the last couple of weeks. I think we, you know our game in the last week in the showdown, and you know again this week we've provided some excitement for the fans. I think some heart ha, some heart bumps in the in the coaches' box, and I'm sure for the players as well. We have a few flutters with our heartbeat. So, uh, but overall, I think that's exciting football. As I said last week, if you're unemotional, you could sit there and say, yeah, well, it's a pretty fast game of football that fans would have loved. So nothing needs to change. Oh. I've always been of the belief leave the game alone. I think the game's in great shape, and uh, you know there, there's some bad games, there's some great games. But I think overall, people turn up and watch our game, and they love it. So I think that's a pretty, pretty big tick. Can you have 96 fewer disposals tonight, but one more inside 50? What do you make of that? I oh, just, our, I suppose, our willingness to take a bit of territory a bit more tonight. We were, we were hoping to go after that a little bit more, and we we're pleased we were able to do that. You know, and still at times early in the first quarter, we were we were handballing too much a game, which that's been a bit of a trend in our games. If we handball a bit too much, we get ourselves in a bit of trouble. You're still trying to find out the missing link why you haven't reached you know, last year's performance level. No, nah, look, I'm, 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 Andrew, I'm really just trying to stay in the moment and right now and that's to help the team recover some of their their lost belief a little bit and that's to, you know, I know the only way you do that is just keep working at it and keep sticking to it and a lot of people don't like me saying that 
But I'm not going to change. That's what I'm going to say, that we've just got to stay tough, our, our supporters and our people that are going to come along and hopefully they'll get there again next week and they'll stick with the boys. That's what I love seeing about Port Adelaide. They stick together and we have to stay in that space. It's easy to fracture. We're not going to fracture as a footy club. Is that lost belief? You've noticed that in games as well as during the week? Or yeah, well, you, you see it. Yeah. People see it. I, I can't hide from it. You see, you see mistakes that are getting made by blokes who are capable of much better. That happens in a game of football. But tonight, the boys stuck at it and they won the game of football and they deserve to win the game. What do you think of Mike's performance? Hey, you know what? Travis' performance... I, I'm always about leadership being on game day. Travis' performance from Monday till this afternoon was as good as I've seen from Travis Boat at our football club in my time. In terms of what His leadership... I thought he just stepped forward and, you know, he, he put himself in a challenging position a number of times through the week where he was wanting to challenge his teammates. But with that, he was prepared to lead the way and I thought that was really important. Just going on from that, just to be honest, I think he hurt his knee in the first half and he really sort of willed... Uh, it's, it's a fantastic, fa fantastic tick for Trav. He's, he's that sort of player. I mean, he's, he, I'm sure he's sore, but he's not that sore that he couldn't keep playing football. Everyone who played out there tonight would be a bit banged up, but I thought it's a pretty tough deck to play on. Elaborate on his role during the week. He's obviously always been a good leader. What's he done extra special? Oh no, I just thought he stepped forward and, and, and was he was pretty directional with what he wanted from his teammates and from what his team, what he wanted his team to represent. And uh, you know, he, stu he stepped forward and told them that's what he expected. And uh, you know, you've got to come and play this way. If you're going to come and play at Port Adelaide. I thought it was really brave of Trev. Oh, we're not at our best. There's, there's no doubt about that. But we've played in a couple of, you know, pretty exciting games of football in the last couple of weeks. I reckon with that, and you start to score a bit, you, you start to grow some confidence. You start to believe. You see Paddy kick some goals. You see Trav do some things. You know, you know, we've, we've got some people that are not out there for us at the moment. But you know, some boys are just hanging tough and playing some pretty strong football, albeit a bit spasmodic. We'd like it to be a bit more consistent. They'd like it to be a bit more consistent. But I think tonight they should enjoy a win. So can some players go off for what the club demands? No, 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 not at all. It's just sometimes you need someone to, who's a part of your team and we're out there with you, that just tells you what's what what you need to do. You know, and sometimes you go and searching for all these answers and you're not quite cl not quite clear which one it is you should be following. But when your captain steps up and says, "A is the thing that we've got to do the most," I reckon that gives you some clarity and you, and you move forward together. All right. Thank you. Don't knock our sponsors, our great sponsors, Energy Australia and Renault and all the people that uh, Nort's managed to get his job wrong. Yeah, we live better at home, so we're going well. What about 4 and 20?